Hi, I'm Jason Sterling, and I wanted to record this video to introduce you to a new build trick that will allow you to get around the prohibition of having only one elevator per penthouse lot. Right now, when you want to place an elevator on each floor of your penthouse, you're told that you're only allowed one elevator per lot, but there is a build trick to get around that, and we'll do it now. We're going to start here. We've already got a shell built uh, for our penthouse and a sim there. We're going to select the elevator and place it here in the shell. We're going to pull it forward just a little bit because I need, it's easier for me to use the trick if it's pulled forward, but you don't have to do that, but it is slightly easier. We're going to surround it by our room. Then we want to place the elevator on our upper floors. So we'll go up, when we go here, when we try to select elevator again, we're going to get the prohibition, which will say, you know, that we can't do it. It's, it's lagging right now. There we go. Um, only one elevator allowed. So we can't do that. We'll drop back down the floor. We're going to use the new copy rooms feature. We have copy room, go up, place the room, and the elevator comes with it. So it does allow you to place the elevator on each floor. And in fact, we're going to go up and copy it here. And we're going to copy it here as well. Now we have four elevators on the lot one per floor and when you're ready to switch back to playing your sim you're going to get another warning that's going to tell you that you can't exit the lot because you have too many elevators on the lot and you need to remove them in order to leave but there's a way around that as well you simply go here to the options menu select manage worlds we're going to go to manage worlds thusly Let's see. We'll select San Maishuno and the building where our sim is. And here we are. So we are here back at our sim's residence. Uh, we were going to move him from the first floor to the fourth floor using the elevator. We'll click go here. And then we'll switch back to him. Oh, there he goes. He's already back up there. He has gone up to the fourth floor using the elevator. We'll move him down, say, to the third floor. This time, go here. Like that. And we'll go back up. And we'll watch him. There he goes. Dematerialize and rematerialize on the third floor. It'll work too. We'll have him go down here to the roof of the building. Let's see here. Here he goes. Drop down there. You can see him come out on the first floor. Now, this works whether you're down in the plaza. You can click the floor from the plaza. And you'll go there immediately. Or you can click go home if you're in the plaza or another lot or a neighborhood. And it will spawn you uh, to the top level that you have an elevator in. So in this case, it would spawn him to the fourth level in front of the elevator. And then you can just have him go to whatever floor you want him to go to uh, using you know, go here. Just say go here and he'll drop down automatically uh, and dematerialize and rematerialize using the elevator spawn points. So that is how you can add more than one elevator to a build. I hope you enjoy it and thanks for watching.